Welcome back to another Joyride video. This video we're going to go over a $38 modification that anybody with a trailer or any type of trailer, you might want to look into this. It's going to protect your investment and it's only $38. So before we get started, look at all this, look at all that. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, really? Front tire on the Camaro is flat. That's not good. We got to put some air in that. This is the 68 Camaro. We'll go through, give everybody a little bit of update. The F350, which needs to be washed and she needs new tires. Of course, Alice, the 24 foot car trailer. We haven't really named that, but yeah, it's new. We just got it. If you didn't catch that video, I do an entire road trip video and pick that trailer up. Here, the forgotten C10 and Chevy Tom gave it the Carolina squat because he's really obsessed with that lately. I don't know why. We're missing one. We're missing one more car. This is the car that made the Joyride channel what it is today. I actually put these lights in the trailer. I picked these up at Walmart. The 500 right there. The trailer pretty much just serves as two purposes. It's a trailer, particularly a mobile garage. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess I can clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna welcome you guys to the new Joyride garage. So we're gonna be moving into this garage. Clay doesn't know. Finally, I got over here to Clay's garage. How long have you had the garage now? Um, it looks like you've been in it for a while. Yeah, <laughs> I think July. July. Year July. Yeah, you know why it looks like this? Because he actually works in his garage. Yeah. It's not a showroom. This is the famous C10 that I've been telling you guys about that we've been mentioning a few times in the videos. Thing's pretty sweet. I'd say pop the hood, but it looks like you got a bunch of stuff you on see there. See a front mount intercooler right there. Nice chrome bumper. You got AC now. You finally put AC in it. Check out the inside of this thing. It's pretty sweet. Still under construction. Should sit in some. But look at the back. <laughs> that's that's pretty wicked right there. Look at that. Wow. That's goals right there. And you even got the spiders and cobwebs in here too. He's on YouTube as well. I've got him listed on here, one of my featured channels. So you guys can check him out. You'll see a bunch of stuff. You're not recording that. No, I was going to, but I got too far in work. Yeah. Too. He's just fixing the bag fit on that truck. You guys got to check him out. He's always doing stuff. You do a bunch of LS swap stuff. Yep. And we're probably gonna move and go that route with mine. Yeah, you want to check out more of my stuff. Yeah, it's mostly on Instagram, but more post friendly on there. What we are actually doing over here today is we are doing a modification to the trailer. It's something that. I know, what would you say? Not necessary, but it's definitely needed. Right. It's not something that's really necessary, but it's definitely something that will save you from destroying or tearing up the rear of your trailer. So, what I have here. These micro rollers are actually designed for campers and stuff, but we're going to put them on the trailer. I ordered these off of Amazon. I believe I paid about like 38 bucks or something like that for it. But we are basically gonna put these on the back and they're gonna active like skid wheels. Here we go. Here they are. All it is is like a little roller and we're basically gonna weld this to the back end of the trailer. And what's cool about it, it has a grease fitting in there too. So if you need to grease them. And these things are heavy duty. So I've got two of them. Here's the other one. So we're gonna put one on each end of the trailer. Like that. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to mount them on the back of the trailer so the grease fitting's facing out so it'd be easier to get to. Dude, that's your lug nut? Yeah, the freaking Milwaukee. It did twisted? That. Yeah, the Milwaukee did that. Impact, right? The impact. Dude, I'm telling you, those Milwaukee impacts are crazy. I know a guy that's a diesel mechanic and he swears by the Milwaukee impact. He said it is a lot stronger than his snap on impact. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah Dude, it twisted that lug nut. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a lug nut. Was. That thing twisted. That's my welder right there. I grind. I know welder. I'm a grinder. <laughs> He's on that grinder app. So if any of you guys are looking for him. So we got the trailer backed up over here to the garage. We're going to basically mount 
these about like right in there. We're gonna go ahead, weld these on. Took the wheels out. And so looking underneath the trailer, we're thinking about like mounting it like right there. What do you think, Clay? Looks good? Yeah. All right, let's do it. It's a little hot. Show that one, Clay. This one? Yeah, that's one you did. This one over here. We did that one right here. Well, we, we weld that one up right there. Yeah, because you want it to roll a little bit, you know? Yeah. You got that one tight already? Yeah, thanks for giving me this trailer. Hey, hey. <laughs> now Clay wants one of these trailers after he saw it. It's actually pretty decent trailer definitely for the price you can't beat it you can't beat it they're not even really noticeable no mm -hmm. yeah oh, got you. looks good So this is basically a $38 mod, but let me give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm picking this video up. We actually installed those right after we got the trailer. Since we've installed the skid rollers, we've had the trailer all the way down to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, back home, up to Vermont, and down to Ocean City. I'm not sure exactly what they what they call them. I ordered them on Amazon. I guess they're called skid rollers. Different people call them different things. See, it's kind of getting dark out. They're still hanging in there, but look at this. They have come into use. You can see that right there. They've come into use, so we've hit them a few times. The one on this side's only been hit a few times. Mostly where you're gonna run into this type of issue with the rear of your trailer bottoming out. This is when you're pulling into shopping centers or driveways, any place where the road dips down, goes up, does, you, you guys know what I'm talking Where about. Where it's gonna cause the rear of your trailer to bottom out. Those skid wheels were actually designed to go on the back of campers, so it's not a camper, but why can't you use it on a just a regular utility trailer, car trailer, whatever type of trailer you have. It's getting dark, I'm stepping in the garage. We are gonna get some C10 content out for you guys. I have gotten comments, I've gotten personal messages, I have gotten a lot of people asking about the C10, and then I had a random person ask me what happened to the Cobra. I don't know where they have been, but I'm gonna go ahead, wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. I know some trail, I've, since I've done it, I've actually noticed a few other trailers that I guess maybe they come factory with them, I don't know. I'm wrapping this up. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.